We made this investment uh, almost 15 years ago. So it cost $2 million. Uh, we got a grant from the federal government for half of that. Uh, so we were ready at the right time. We had evaluated this technology and this, this approach and thought that it would pay dividends in the future and, and, it, and it has. Compressed natural gas uh, uh, air pollution is significantly less than diesel fuel. And, and then we're going to transition to electric vehicles as we go forward as that technology uh, comes to our, our needs. Well, temperatures in the upper 70s this afternoon. We're at 77 in Mays Landing, 78 in Hamilton and Vineland, 79 Glassboro, 82 in Marlton, and a little bit of a sea breeze closer to the shore, keeping us a bit cooler in the lower 70s. Now, tonight, temperatures will drop off into the mid to upper 50s. There is a chance that we see a couple of isolated showers into the overnight hours, but some might not even see any rain. But if you wake up and see some water on your car, on your grass, you might have had an isolated shower pass over your head overnight. Rain chances only around 20 to 30 percent but we continue to see a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon more clouds build as the trough starts to work in into the later evening hours and then into the overnight hours and early sunday here comes the chance of maybe a couple isolated showers or a rumble of thunder before the rain does start to dissipate as the sun does start to rise on your sunday and we should see a lot of sunshine for Sunday afternoon, but we will see some lingering cloud cover throughout the morning, but a lot of sunshine by the afternoon hours. Temperature is also a little bit cooler down into the middle 70s between about 73 to 76. Now, I will continue to remind you there is a coastal flood watch in effect through tomorrow afternoon. We do have the chance of seeing some tidal flooding minor to moderate not really a big deal but up to about a foot of water is possible during high tides as we continue to get an onshore push but during the low tide cycles it will start to recede back out into the ocean but for the next couple of high tide cycles there is the chance of seeing some minor to moderate tidal flooding that could carry over into monday as well but right now it looks like it will start to die out by tomorrow evening but mix of sun and clouds continue this afternoon more clouds by this evening we could see a couple isolated showers into the overnight hours before we will start to clear out on your sunday plenty of sunshine throughout sunday afternoon more clouds by your monday but temperatures continuing to cool off into the lower 70s then by tuesday tuesday evening we could see a couple isolated showers but mainly for your wednesday and thursday that's when we are looking at that shower and thunderstorm chance temperatures also back up into the mid to upper 70s as of right now looks like we will start to quiet down into your friday and for your weekend temperatures also a little bit warmer into the lower 80s by your saturday but that may need to be adjusted depending on a potential tropical cyclone down in the Gulf of Mexico that could bring us some moisture depending on what goes on for next weekend. But as of right now, it looks like we will stay dry and partly cloudy with temperatures warming up into the lower 80s for next Saturday.